Hi, I'm Jojo the GM, and I'm going to teach you how to keep this stupid thing clean. My method's cheap, easy, and it's kept this thing alive for over nine months with hundreds of prints. So, let's get after it. Now let's go over everything you're going to need to get this done. Alcohol-based glass cleaner, a microfiber cloth, a silicone spatula, a spray bottle with either denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, a plastic cat litter pan, and your respirator and gloves. You don't want to breathe any of this stuff. You are also going to need a bottle for your resin that you're emptying out of the vat, uh, a filter, I use paint filters, you can get them on Amazon, and a funnel. When I say this is my cleaning technique, I don't mean I invented it, I just mean this is what I've put together based on what I've learned since I started printing. The first thing you want to do is get a nice support that's got a flat bottom and just gently press it down until it's flush with the FEP. The next step is to turn on your printer. And a lot of printers have a tank clean setting, but even the ones that don't, generally like this old Photon Mono, have just an exposure setting. So it's for testing if your screen is still good and stuff like that. Uh, you just wanna expose for somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds. When the exposure is finished, we just remove the vat and get ready to clean all this resin out. This is when the cat litter pan comes in handy in case you spill anything or make a huge mess, which I've done before. And the paint filter helps filter out any particulates that end up in the resin, um, things like dog hair or dirt or little bits of resin. When you're pouring the resin into the filter, just be careful and keep it steady and watch for the resin kind of sticking to the underside of the vat. And make sure you hold the funnel steady if you need to. Like this bottle was about half full, so I didn't really have to worry about stability. This is where the silicone spatula comes in handy. You can use it to scrape the resin out of the vat and you don't have to worry about scratching the FEP or damaging anything. You wanna get as much of the resin out as you can with the spatula. It makes it much easier to clean and you're not making as big of a mess. Like the less resin you have in the vat, the, the easier the final cleaning is going to go. As you can see in the video, I like to keep paper towels close by. It makes it much easier to just reach out and grab something to hurry up and clean up a mess. And when I'm wiping down the vat, you can see that I still have that layer of cured resin at the bottom on the FEP. That way I can kind of get into the vat and clean out all this extra resin that I can't get with the spatula. And I don't have to worry about scratching the actual screen area that's covered by the FEP. This is where the alcohol in the spray bottle comes in handy. And the cheap little chip brush that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is also nice. I use the chip brush to get out the resin in some of those hard to reach areas. It doesn't damage the FEP and it comes in handy. Your goal is to get as much of the resin out as you can before you move on to the microfiber cloth. Now we get to the good part, peeling the thin sheet of resin off the bottom of the FEP. What this does is it helps protect the FEP while you're cleaning it and then as you can see when you peel it off it's pretty much clean at this point, you just need a good wipe down. We have now entered the final stage of cleaning this thing up. This is an alcohol-based glass cleaner. The nice thing about it is it'll break down resin, it evaporates super fast so you don't have to worry about a film or anything. It just does a fantastic job. The reason I'm using a microfiber cloth is because uh, paper towels will leave micro scratches on the FEP. So the more you wipe down with a paper towel, the more scuzzy and hazy the FEP will get. And just like that, we've got a nice clean FEP. That's good to go. And, uh, you know, uh, autofocus on this camera aside, uh, the FEP looks pretty good for being about nine months old when I filmed this. When you're done, you just want to do basic cleanup. I use the alcohol window cleaner to wipe down my tools and just take care of everything. Uh, when I'm done, what I like to do is take the cat box and put it outside in the sun, let all the alcohol evaporate, let all the resin cure, and luckily with this cat box, 
the resin tends to scrape right out. You leave it in the sun long enough, it'll peel off of this plastic and you can just keep using the same cat box again and again. And with the microfiber cloth, I just toss it up somewhere and let it dry. By the time you get to the point that you're wiping out the vat, there's not really any resin left, so you don't have to worry about getting too much into the microfiber cloth. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you have any topic ideas for other videos for cleaning 3D prints or how to take care of them, uh, just let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.